afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this absolute gem of a 2008 Shelby GT500 convertible. Now, this GT500 is absolutely beautifully specced and in showroom condition. And when I say showroom condition, that is not figurative whatsoever. This vehicle is showing under 7,000 original miles. Absolutely beautiful spec, beautiful condition. And I can't wait to take you on a quick tour of this vehicle. Of course, if you would like to see a high resolution, detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There, of course, you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll take you on this quick condition overview on both the interior and the exterior, as well as showing you some of the interesting features on this GT500. Now we'll start here on the exterior. Absolutely gorgeous finish on the paint. Of course, you have this beautiful combination of this gloss white paired with the bright red racing stripes carrying on the hood onto the trunk and down the rear portion of the vehicle, as well as some red accents down here on the lower portion of the sides. I'll start by taking a really close look at the body panels carrying all the way back from the front fender to the door and all the way back to the quarter panel and you'll notice as I make my way back uh, the paint is in just spectacular condition not a single ding dent rock chip uh, dead bug there's really nothing to report down here on the driver's side now another rarity in the market for these GT500s is seeing these SVT 18 inch wheels in such spectacular condition you'll notice not only are they free of any curb rash but it's so common looking out for GT500s from this era to find the wheels pitted and showing corrosion. Uh, even with the most minor use, avoiding winter, they still love to pit and ruins that finish. And as you can see, amazing condition on both wheels here on the driver's side. Now you'll see hidden behind these front wheels are those massive Brembo brake calipers and some big rotors as well, all of which, of course, in perfect condition as one might expect. Taking a quick look here at the front fender, you'll notice that iconic Shelby Snake logo with the red inserts to match all the accents on this car. That's a really nice touch, as well as the GT500 badging just here on the lower portion of the front fender. Now taking a look at the hood and the front fascia, we'll start up here on the hood. You'll find the paint to be in just amazing condition. You see those vents, which uh, are functional and do channel the heat out of the engine bay. Uh, those look great as well. And looking here at the front fascia, front bumper, showing zero rock chips, bug splatter, uh, you know, wear from road debris, just looks unbelievable. Really, I have never seen a Shelby GT500 in such condition. You'll notice both of the headlights are crystal clear, not showing any oxidation or discoloration or scratching. And that grill is just the, uh, just the same, pardon me, with another beautiful Shelby snake hidden right there in the grill. Now we'll take a look here at the passenger side. Start by taking a look at another wheel in just stunning condition. And again, we'll take you really close to the panel so as to look for any issues in the bodywork. As we make our way all the way to the back, again, here on the passenger side, you'll notice it's in just amazing condition. Another wheel here in the back, looking equally flawless to the other three. And you have, of course, the same accents here on the front fender with the Snake and the GT500 script. Now, making our way to the rear of the vehicle, you'll find this beautiful spoiler. Again, perfect condition, paint looks great. You'll find no wear marks in the corner uh, from poor trunk alignment. So I've seen on these vehicles, I've seen scrape marks there before on that thin white panel. None to report here, it looks just awesome. Now here at the rear, taillights free of any uh, oxidation, discoloration, what have you, they look perfect. You can see yet another snake here on the back of the GT500 showing that Shelby badge. And on the lower portion of the bumper, again, not only is the paint in wonderful condition, You'll also notice the JBA exhaust, which we will hear in just a few moments, sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, really suits this vehicle and its powertrain perfectly. Now on the lower portion of the rear bumper, you'll find that nice plastic diffuser panel. 
no issues to report there. It looks fantastic. Of course, the Shelby badging here at the rear. Now, one thing to point out, when you do have the convertible top stowed away in the back here, this vehicle does come with this nice plush leather cover that's going to hide that convertible top. And it does clip in on the sides here and in two points in the rear. So it's going to stay uh, where you left it and won't cause any issues while driving. And it kind of cleans up the look here in the back. And next up, before we make our way into the interior, I'm gonna remove this cover and we'll start by operating the powered cloth top. Okay, now as you can see, I've removed the cover for the stowed soft top, and now we'll make our way inside, which does a beautiful job to match the powerful and bright spec on the exterior of this car. You can see, as we make our way inside, the driver's seat here is just in amazing condition. Beautiful black leather with the red leather inserts, which again match those stripes perfectly. And I love how the red is laid out to kind of mimic the stripes as you make your way down the interior. It looks really nice. You can see the outer portion of the driver's seat bolster, both upper and lower, is in perfect condition, showing minimal if anywhere. And you'll see some nice red stitching to match. You'll also see that Shelby logo again embroidered into uh, just below the headrest. Now the passenger seat, of course, equally beautiful condition to the front driver's seat. Now we'll make our way inside. Close up the door here. And the first thing we'll do is start it up because as I mentioned, that JBE exhaust, or JBA, pardon me, JBA exhaust sounds amazing. We'll fire it up as you can see and take a listen to this beautiful startup. You can hear a powerful bark out of the back of the vehicle right when you start it up, idling beautifully smooth, just under a thousand RPM there. As you can see, 6,728 miles showing currently on the odometer. No strange warning lights to report. All gauges reading correctly. And the first thing we'll do here is operate this soft top. So as you can see, it's a switch just above my head here. And you'll see the top operates smoothly and quickly as well as it makes its way up into the upright position. You'll see the top drops down very gently. You wait to hear that motor stop making noise, let off the button, easily pull and lock. Well, this is kind of a two-handed operation if you don't mind me, so let me pull down with one hand here and operate that latch with the other hand, just a moment. Okay, perfect, thank you. And for using two hands, I was able to get these latched down, no issues whatsoever. And as you can see, I have all my window controls here. All the windows operate exactly as designed and there's one switch here in the back for both of the little quarter windows there in the back now now that we're sealed up looking at the interior you can see the steering wheel buttons all look phenomenal you can see the red stitching carrying on the inside of this beautiful leather wrapped wheel uh, all looks great and again matches that spec so well you can see the leather is in great condition and you have that really cool shelby logo just in the middle of the steering wheel as you can see, dashboard has this really nice metallic look trim. And all of the leather pieces in the dash, like this uh, top cover here, all look amazing. Stitching is perfect. You don't see any panels lifting, uh, no tears, no, no marks, just perfection. Now, taking a look at the center console, all of the controls, all of the buttons still have their original text. They look very nice. Radio and infotainment works perfectly and actually has a very nice sound system in here in the Shelby. Climate control, AC blows cold and heat blows hot. Everything functions as designed. You can see here, paired with that beautiful black leather with the red stitching, you have this kind of pearl white uh, shift knob, which is kind of a throwback to old muscle cars and it looks really nice, feels great in the hand and has a very satisfying and short throw on the shift, uh, which I just love. I think it feels great and somewhat unexpected in a vehicle of this style with a nice large engine and a lot of power. Now here in the cup holders, you see I uh, have some ambient lighting. Of course, I have this set to red uh, to match the theming of this vehicle. However, if you'd like to change it, it just takes pushing this button and you can see a bunch of different color options available. I personally think red suits this car the best, however. So next up, let's take a quick look under the hood at really the star of the show with this GT500. So making our way under the hood. Of course, first thing, as you can see, it's absolutely spotless under the hood on this GT500. 
A couple things to note, the basics first off, this is a 5.4 liter V8, of course as you can see with a quite sizable supercharger mounted just there on the top. Now this is producing 500 horsepower at 6,000 uh, 6, RPM, pardon me, and 480 pounds-feet of torque at peak output which is just an absolutely staggering number to be in a vehicle of this size. And as you can see, clearly very well cared for, only very basic modifications. As you can see, a nice intake here for KLT Performance, very clean install. You can see the air filter is plenty sizable to feed an engine that's this hungry. You can see it's idling quite happily here at just around 800 RPM. Supercharger spinning nicely. All the reservoirs look excellent. All of the hardware still perfectly painted, not showing any nicks uh, as if panels had been removed. You can see all of the original paint markings there on the top of the strut tower. Just an absolute gem of a motor here in the GT500. Even looking at the cylinder heads and all the surrounding hardware just looks unbelievable. So back in the interior here of the GT500, I'm just going to take a quick moment to show you the rear seating arrangement. Of course, not the priority in a vehicle like this. However, they are quite sizable and they are in just perfect condition as you would expect. You can see all of the leather surfaces look absolutely wonderful. And as we take a look up here at the headliner, you'll notice that the soft top on the interior is in just fantastic shape. And here on the exterior, it is just the same. Looks absolutely perfect. All of the uh, points where it meets this rear window, they're not showing any fraying or uh, showing signs of prior work like glue that you may see on some other vehicles. Now, lastly, we'll just take a look here in the trunk. And we do have a few goodies that come with this GT500. As you can see, a lot of documentation and the original window sticker. You have the floor mats, that top cover, as I mentioned before, the owner's manual, and a nice commemorative front plate, nice metallic piece. So if you have any further questions related to this GT500, please reference the listing at alphacars.com, and there you'll find all the relevant contact information. Thank you so much for your time, and have a wonderful day. Thank you from Alpha Cars.